Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. In this video, we're going to show you how to catch out your opponent with some deceptive returns of serve. Now, this is where it looks like you're going to return the serve in one direction, then at the very last moment, you change to return it into a different direction, catching your opponent out. Now, the tips in this video come from Craig Bryant. Craig is a former England international player and now he's a full-time professional coach. And this is one of Craig's best skills. He's really good at this and it is horrible, horrible to play against. So if you want to take your return of service game to the next level, then keep watching. This video is brought to you in partnership with Brybard Table Tennis. Visit brybartt.co.uk today for a wide range of rubbers, blades, bats, balls and clothing from all your favourite table tennis brands. Okay, so today we're going to look at a few different deceptive receives that we can use in our match. Uh, deceptive receives are a great way of creating a few cheap opportunities. Um, and we're trying to do that just by delaying the play a little. So we're trying to show our opponent that we're going to do one shot and then we're going to change uh, the last split second. Uh, hopefully we create a little bit of hesitation and it's that that gives us that opportunity to either be dominant in the point or to maybe finish the point completely. So here's an example of a forehand topspin uh, off of a half long serve. So it's a serve that is just drifting off the end and we're looking at how we can make this forehand topspin a little bit more effective, okay? So for the start of the shot, we wanna try and make sure that we're being as similar as possible. And then as we're just approaching the ball, we can either open this wrist up to play it down the line or just close the wrist in to bring that ball cross court. So the next one I'm going to look at is the, the forehand flick. Uh, Tom's going to deliver a short float serve to me, uh, gives me an opportunity to practice my flick ball, makes it a little bit easier for me as the receiver. So I get that short float ball into the middle. Then what I'm looking to do is show Tom one direction. So I'm going to make him think that I'm going into that, his backhand corner. If he starts to move, then I'm just going to start to close that wrist in and put it down to the opposite corner. Uh, to go the, the opposite way, I'm going to step in and show Tom that I'm going cross court into his forehand. So I'm showing him this angle here. And as he starts to move, then my wrist just starts to open out. And that allows me to guide it into the opposite corner. So a similar thing on the backhand corner, uh, when I'm stepping in, I'm gonna try and shape up everything. So my shoulders and my elbow, my racket is all facing Tom's backhand corner. And as I start the swing, then my wrist is just gonna open out and just hopefully send Tom the wrong way. So I'm trying to make him think that I'm gonna go cross court again. And then at the last split second, just change that direction of the wrist. OK, 
Okay, to go into the opposite corner, I'm not only going to step in, but also going to step around, open my body up to this back, uh, into Tom's forehand corner. Again, show him that I'm going to play there, take the ball a little bit earlier, and again, just close that wrist in so we can play the ball in the opposite direction. Okay, so next we're going to look at how to make our touch receive and our deep push look as similar as possible. Okay, and the first thing we're going to look at is our touch shot. So we're looking to take the ball as early as we can, right off the bounce so we can keep that ball nice and short. And what's different with this long push is rather than letting the ball stand up, we're going to still take it nice and early. But instead of just touching and caressing the ball, we're going to push through it at the last split second. And hopefully our opponent will step in, try and deal with the touch, and then they'll get caught with that slightly deeper ball. And just a little bit from my perspective, being the player who was on the receiving end of Craig's unpredictable returns, um, really, really horrible to play against, really difficult to play against because it's just so unpredictable. You really don't know what Craig was going to do. Um, and because it was very unpredictable, that creates hesitation. And when I start to hesitate, that's when I start to either play weak shots or make mistakes. It was all to do with his last minute change of direction, his touch and his ball placement. Having to deal with balls which might come either here or might come there and that makes it really hard to play against. So, it's something really worth experimenting with, with your own game. Um, just seeing if you can catch your opponent out by just changing the direction at the last moment. Thank you very much for watching and a big thank you to Craig Bright for sharing his tips on how to do deceptive receives. Um, if you want more information about Craig 
and his coaching services, then go to Craig's website at topedgetabletennis.co.uk. And also a big thank you to Brybar Table Tennis for sponsoring this video. I'll have lots more videos coming soon, so I'll see you then. Bye bye.